morning everyone welcome back to the channel we have got a serious cleanup job to do today huge pieces of tin piles of junk there's one right here one behind the building this frame which i'm assuming that this frame is one of those shelters that this tin came off of so these pieces are really big we're gonna have to ooh, we're gonna have to do some disassembling here uh, to get those where they need to be. So I'm gonna flip the phone around. We're gonna look at what all we got today so we can get started. So as you'll see, we do have a hodgepodge of items um, that need to be gone. Uh, there is lots of, lots of metal, lots and lots of metal actually. Um, that's all back in here. There are some, mm, sorry about the sunshine some kind of metal frame racking system um, more piles of metal there's a pile of metal right there i'm gonna get over here so the sun isn't as bad hopefully um, these met i guess they're metal gates they look super heavy uh, so yeah this is uh this is a church that gave me a call and um they said hey we've got uh, our christmas program coming up can you come out and uh can you come out and clean it up for us so we're gonna try to do that for them um I, they do it over here they do a little play uh i think it's called night in bethlehem or christmas in bethlehem or something and uh obviously play here tons of junk here uh they want it gone so yeah we're gonna help them out it helps me out really worried about this y'all uh, i believe this is one of these frame buildings that they come out uh, a lot of them are bent up i guess from when they took it down um they're not in the best shape but we got to figure out how to get all this apart. This is probably, thankfully my dad is coming and he's going to bring his trailer uh, to help out. But uh, this is going to be, this is going to be interesting. So stand by and uh, let's get to working because we got a, we got a full day's work right here, I believe. Ooh, aluminum. Honestly, I've never seen so many tiki torches in my life. There's probably already 12 on the trailer. And there's at least another 10 on the ground. A lot of tiki torches. Like, really? <laughs> I don't understand that. some pretty good metal in here though um these pipes these pipes are pretty stout uh i don't know they must just have been piling it up back here for a while and now it's all oh you know it's time to time to get rid of it okay here's a look at the here's a look at the other side um Thankfully, those pieces are um, in two. I thought they were totally one piece there. Lots of good pieces here. Some stuff on the ground. Um, some kind of shelving system here. I don't know what these are. Oh, good gracious. There's one hiding over here, back here. Wow, they've been back there a while. That's for sure. All right, well, let's get to work. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to get these out of here um, and put those on the trailer. That'll be a good spot. Then we can drop those down inside and put some of this bigger stuff up there. Oof, this might not be a one trip deal, y'all. Oh, 
Well, I guess we'll carry some vines with us too. Cause they're all tangled up in here. Grief. Shoo. Vines or something else now. It makes it 50 pounds heavier trying to break them things. Good grief. That didn't work. All right, excuse the jet in the background. We're near Goldsboro, so Air Force Base. We got this first one on here. We ain't been working but 20 minutes. And we gotta, we're getting there. Still got to get, I swore to goodness. I've pulled that bunch of vines around with me all morning get out of here Ugh. still got to get this one out and then oh that one's laying down okay it's got casters on it huh interesting that one's probably gonna stay right there but we'll at least see if we can get this tin out of the way and get that one out i'd love to have it i mean it's heavy but we'll see all right back to work all right, we got a few pieces of tin on there. Um, these things are really long and I'm having to cut each of them. I think, however, though, I feel like that's some pretty nice stuff. I mean, they've taken care of it. They've got like two by fours between several of the pieces. Um, I don't know if it might be worth reselling. Like these right here are short enough to where, you know, I wouldn't have to do anything with them. They are kind of rusted on the ends and they're starting to rust through in a few places. And of course there's obviously screw holes. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'm going to have to take a better look and see because I also don't have a way to transport. What is that? 20 feet. I don't have without it folding over you know, going down the road on the back of the trailer. I don't know if I can transport that. So we're just gonna have to see. Holy moly. Look at this piece. Good Lord. Look at that piece of angle right there. Jeez, that's galvanized. Woo. All right, 
we're gonna get the rest of this stuff off top. Got some aluminum, a few more metal pieces. I'm gonna get these boxes off of these poles for them. There's wires in there and uh, paint pan. I did have a cup and I could get water, which was awesome because I failed to bring a cooler with waters today. Rookie mistake. And then there's that. So stand by. There actually ended up being two more of these things back here. And obviously that one over there with those, I think that might have to stay there, but we can try it with this method. We're gonna try to pull them out. So let's get hooked up, trees in the way. Let's see how, uh, see what big a mess we can make here. Alrighty, those two are out. We may go back for the other ones. Not really sure yet. I really want to get this started. Um, I'm trying to find as many pieces that I think that I can bend. This stuff is not, I mean, it's heavy, but it's not that thick. Um, and so I found these little, they're little 90 degree pieces. And I have figured out that if you pick them up, I'm trying to do as much as I can. <laughs> Bless me trying to do as much as I can without having to get the grinder out. And so I figured out if I pick these up and I walk them up, I can just snap them and they fold up. It breaks one side of that and they fold up. So I think I can get all these. There's several. And uh, yeah, we're going to have to cut these. But I can clean up all these small pieces. I can fold these in half. I maybe can fold these. If you look right here, there's a little thing. We'll just get that one or two screws out and they should come apart. I'm just trying to get as much done without, with doing as little cutting as possible. So she's getting full, still got to cut those up and got all that long tin right there. But tell you what y'all, should be a good payday. And um, hey, it's free, right? Always the best. Ooh, y'all. I know this don't look like that much. I mean, maybe it does. Um, but I'm at a standstill. I did get those two cut, cut up in half. Um, I gotta wait for some backup to finish piling these up here on top. And uh, I think that's gonna be about it for this trailer. I might can fit a few more pipes in here, but um, yeah, we're gonna have to wait for some backup. Uh, I was really hoping to get all this done today. I just don't know if that's gonna happen. So we'll see. Hopefully we can get as get as much as we can. And uh, I also, now that I'm thinking about it, I also may see if um see if since I'm in Goldsboro, uh, I I may see if I can run it to Goldsboro Recycling. Don't tell don't tell my boys at Foss that, but um. It'd be nice to go ahead and get this unloaded and get it off, uh, but we'll see. We'll see what time we end up with. We'll see how see how how it all goes, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, the cavalry has arrived. Praise the Lord. All right, so I didn't really film it because it would just have been taking screws apart. All of that is up, and it is on the trailer. Dad's got the generator working. And I'm gonna go ahead and run this to the recycling place in Goldsboro, it's only 10 minutes away. He's gonna work on those. Those long pieces are about 30 feet long. Um, and we have no way to transport those. Even with the biggest trailer, we don't have a way to transport those. It's unfortunate. I um, feel like it might be worth a little bit, but we just have no way to move it. So we're gonna cut them in half the best we can and uh, see what happens from there. But yeah, I'm gonna run this. He's gonna keep cutting. Got us an assembly line today. Man, y'all, we are loaded down back there. She is heavy, 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 heavy. Looking forward to see what this is. Uh, we're going to wall recycling in Goldsboro. Never, uh, never been there before, but it's only a couple minutes away. And uh, I really would rather, you know, Zach, if you're watching this, Foss, I'm sorry. 
Uh, I'm not I'm not cheating on you. I promise. I just I really don't want to haul all this back to Wilson. So we're going to uh, we're going to take this on and uh, see what they give us for it. And um, Dad's back cutting up the tin. Bless his heart. And he's going to keep working on that until I get back. And hopefully uh, we'll be able to wrap it up pretty soon. All right, y'all stand by. All right, we made it. Mountains of stuff. Let's see what we got in store here. I tell you what, they got it. Uh, they got it going on over here. Um, I don't know how good you can see over there, but they're loading all the stainless and aluminum over there, ba bailing it up. They got a couple of cutters, um, crane here. They got another crane here loading the shredder over here. I tell you what now, and there's a there's another cutter on the other side. He's um he's cutting up the big pieces, I guess. But this is man, that's crazy. Well, another Altima bites the dust. This guy over here in this other crane loading that, he's got a shredder over there he's loading. He's got a whole daggone cab protector built around that thing. I guess that thing shoots up big stuff if you drop it in there too fast. That's pretty crazy. Y'all, this is a happening plate right here. We're back on the road. That was a busy, busy, busy place. They were doing, it looked like they were handling everything right there where they were. Um, I'm assuming they load stuff out of there. There was a rail, there was some rail cars on the other side, but it looked like they were loading those that big pile of dirt. I think that there's a little clip a little bit back. Um, it just looked like a big pile of dirt. I'm not sure if that's, if that's coming out of that um, shredder and all the dirt and debris and wood and stuff they're piling that look like they were loading that stuff into the rail cars so i'm not exactly sure but i do know that was a busy place we're headed back 272 dollars richer and um my dad asked me how much i thought it would be and i said i'm you know i'm hoping to get 300 so right on the money and uh so by the time that we get this tin loaded up and those two other little pieces uh we will have a 300 hundred dollar day so not too shabby we're headed back. Uh, I'm gonna get back, see how much he's got done, get him loaded up, and uh, we'll probably take that back to Wilson. That stuff's not too heavy. So, anyway, I'll catch up with you in just a second. All right, we got all that tin up. Um, I'm actually gonna post that on Facebook. Uh, we had to cut it in half, but the sheets are still about 15 feet long, um, and there's probably about 30 of them. So, I'm thinking somebody will give me some money for those. So, I'm not gonna take those to to the scrapyard today all right so we're done for the day good day to be scrapping it's so good to get a scrapping video done feel like we haven't done one in forever um but we're back on the beat i appreciate you watching today who says church cleanup day can't be fun right we got all that metal i think we're set hopefully we'll sell that tin to somebody and um make a little bit more than just taking it to the scrapyard. I always try to get things, you know, repurpose them. Um, I actually got a piece, I'll show, I'll run a clip at the end of this video. I actually got a couple of pieces that my dad said would make good firewood racks. So, uh, firewood season's coming up, so might use that. So anyway, always try to repurpose things, find another use for them, um, but sometimes you just gotta scrap it. So, thanks for watching, thanks for following along. We will see you on the next video. Real quick, forgot to do it. Um, here's these things I was thinking about for firewood holders. Put some wood down on the bottom, put a couple of cross members in the back, stack it up, it's on casters. 
think that'd be a pretty sweet firewood holder. All right, see you next time.